about three miles east of us on Fulton Street in Bed-Stuy is the home of the Saseya Cultural Arts Foundation, which devotes itself to promoting and teaching African arts, music, and dance, of course. And this year, they celebrate their sweet 16. Yeah, and here to tell us what's going on at Asaseya, including a new work called Ghana, the place where the chief sleeps, is its director of operations, Ruby Inez Williams. Thank you so much for being here on BK Live. We really appreciate it. And in a few minutes, we'll be joined by Yao Ababio. He's the founder and artistic director of the Asaseya African American Dance Theater. He'll perform for us in just a few minutes. We're really excited for that. Thank you both very much for being here. Thank you. Sweet 16. Yes. Should we get you a car? What's <laughs> happening? You guys have really been doing the thing for all these years now. Yeah. We have. Talk to us about the evolution. You've yeah. been here so, before. We've yes. seen all these programs you're doing 16 so, years later. Yeah, Sasaya um, began um, as a Sasaya African American Dance Theater um, 16 years ago, um, and that is our founding program. We also run three other programs as well as, you know, from before. We have a Sasaya Children's Arts Camp which is a cultural performing arts program in the summertime, Asasiya School of the Arts, which is more of a traditional dance um, program, and then Asasiya Teach, which is an in-school arts and education program as well. So who founded the organization 16 years ago? What was it founded upon? So Yao Babio, who is the founder and artistic director, um, along with a collective of young artists, um, musicians, and dancers, really were compelled to um, continue to live uh, the art and culture of Africa um, through performance. Yeah. So we're in a pivotal political moment right now. You guys have been doing the work of keeping yeah. the culture alive mm -hmm. artistically. How are you feeling in that space and about what lies ahead now with the mission? Well, um, you know, traditionally, African drum and dance has always been used as a source of inspiration and upliftment. And so through our programs and also the new ballet that we are presenting February 4th at Symphony Space. There's a ballet um, this year. Yes, Great. it's a new, a new body of that's work awesome. um, that's being presented that um, we are hoping to continue inspiring our community um, in this time of transition yeah. um, where we are, you know, people are feeling at, at angst. Um, and so we're hoping that when they come to see the ballet on um, February 4th at Symphony Space, that they will be continually inspired and uplifted by the work that we're doing. And what are the inspirations yeah. and ideas behind the new project where the chief sleeps? Right, so the piece is called Ghana, a place where the chief sleeps. And um, Ghana, as we know, is a country in Africa, and that, that is what comes to mind, but that is its geographical location. Right. Um, but the actual meaning of the word is a place where the chief sleeps. And Ghana. So, the word that's Ghana, what it means. that's what it means, like, wow, a place where I the chief that. sleeps. And so we're taking this opportunity to um, educate those who are coming to see um, the show, but for them to experience African art and culture kind of in its deepest space and its connection to um, Mother Earth as well. Well, wow, it's already working, because I didn't know that that's what Ghana meant. Yeah. So uh, what do you want people to know? What, what's the, like, not just the takeaway, but even right. just that opening? What is um, it we're going to get so, at? That the, the actual word, Ghana, mm -hmm. meaning um, a place where the chief sleeps, you want to really highlight um, the Ghanaian empire um, and its connection to Mother Earth and the way that that culture kind of has traveled through Africa and not just the experience of what we look at as continental Africa today, right. but the long history of what it has been over time and how that kind of relates to us today as well. And what's involved in the production? Music, dance? Music dance, song, um, the adults are performing, but also we have some youth performing from our youth We had some young dancers well. yes. the last time you heard. That's what yeah. the advice of admission alone, to see those yes. kids doing it, it was yes. so cool. Yeah, so the, you know, the, the, the point of it is to show the connection um, between the continental Africa and us here, those of us who are that legacy um, of that art and culture, but then also to, to show generational connections and have the youth presented not, you know, as a gimmick, yeah. but really as a part of the creation of this art and kind of the inspiration of bringing that culture to life. And speaking of which, what, what sort of classes and educational 
stuff do you offer for not just children but adults too? Right. I guess so we a beautiful have beautiful new space too. Yes. So we are all of our programs are housed at Asasaya Center for the Arts, which is located at 1803 Fulton Street at the corner of Rochester Avenue. Um, we have a Congolese East African dance, dance class there. We have drum classes that are there for adults. Um, we run a series of free classes once a year, um, which is called Art is Alive Free Week, um, where we try to offer classes to the community so without um, money being an issue. Thought. We're going to see some drums here. Can you explain why is why are the drums significant culturally, and how does it relate to sort of the country and the history therein? So, like I said, uh, through traditional African culture, drums and music um, have been used not only as a form of inspiration, but also as a form of communication. Um, and so, you know, as as well as us understanding and respecting the art, we also want to be able to showcase and tap into that rich history of communicating with each other and with our communities through the drumming as well. Yeah, the drums can help you fly. Yes, for sure. It's a big deal. For <laughs> sure. Well, thank you. I mean, we're going to see a demonstration here in a minute. Where do people get tickets for the yes. production, though, and how do people get more involved? So you can, Something yes, like so you can, you can get tickets and further information um, about our organization at www.asaseyaent.org. Um, and there you can buy tickets for the actual show at Symphony Space on February 4th. But you can also get information just about all of our programs and our center and our classes. Yeah, what classes are popping up right now at Asase? Uh, yeah. So, so we have, uh, Mondays, we have an urban line dancing class. Oh, um, what does uh, that entail? So urban line <laughs> dancing? Give, Greg, can we get the cha-cha slide now? <laughs> That's Natasha's favorite, urban so, line. Ur so people always just think, for them no more. Urban line dancing. Right, so the urban line dancing class is um, kind of a combination of pop cultural music, um, yeah. R&B music, and putting routines to it, but it's also a way for older people in our community to be able to work out mm. um, and get fit as well. Right. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> as an older person in our community. <laughs> yeah, I need to stay mobile. Right. So you know what to do at the wedding. <laughs> what, yeah, what, wait, what is urban line dancing? Can you like explain like, you know, how it works? No, maybe save it for the um, class, maybe? So think Maybe like we the should electric go and take slide. A class. How yes, about Greg you can come and I on come Mondays, out and take a class. 6 p.m. Yeah, okay. You know Mondays is 6 p.m. Yes. When you get a whole bunch of urban people, when you come to a wedding in my family, and then it's like, <laughs> it's like the, the electric, electric slide. slide that's right. just the beginning. But more structured. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Some structure. Yes. And a I variety like of music. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Make you sweat your hair out. That's yeah. great. What are the other classes? So we also have an adult West African class that runs on Friday evenings after the children's classes. Um, as well, and that is focused on djembe dance, yeah. um, which usually comes from Mali or the Guinea countries in Africa. Well, I just want to, before we get out of here, that Asasaya is a great place that's right in the heart of Brooklyn, because yes. we've seen a few institutions, the numbers dwindle where you can come yeah. out and get culturally sensitive yes. and specific dance and outlet for that. Right. So. Good job, 16 years later. Thank you very much. Keep on yeah. keeping on. Thank Congratulations. You very much. Yeah.